Here we go. Guys, are time. Oh, buddy. Look at it go. <laughs> Now there's a reason I wanted to be able to make a geyser in the classroom. Recently, I was in Yellowstone National Park in the winter, snowmobiling through the park, and it's absolutely incredible. But Yellowstone Park is a volcano, so all this snow is melting and it's heating up and steam is coming out of the surface, which makes this Old Faithful geyser. Now, Old Faithful works because the water underground is getting heated up by the magma deep underground, and as it turns into a gas, it takes up more space, the pressure increases, and it comes shooting out to the surface in something we call a geyser. So, I took some glass tubing, standard glass tubing that we use in the chemistry lab, and I figured I'll put it down into a bottle. Now, I've got a triangular file, I'm just scoring this so I can snap it apart and get my tubing to the length that I want it. And I just want it barely, barely about a half an inch from the bottom. I've got a number four stopper with one hole in it, and I just slid this down in the stopper, and look, that'll fit down so there's just a small gap in the bottom. And then it's time for the liquid nitrogen. Now, liquid nitrogen is minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's super cold, and out here, it's turning into a vapor very quickly. So that vapor is gonna take up more space. Oh, buddy, look at it go! <laughs> and we get our geyser. Nice! Sweet geyser, huh? The liquid nitrogen, I like it. I like it a lot. Now is this anything like a real geyser? Well, actually it is, because what's happening is you have that pressure in the bottle, just like pressure underground. It's pushing it through a constricted space, that's like the tube and Nice! Look at that! Bam, bam, bam! That's my geyser. I'm pretty lucky because I live close to Yellowstone National Park, so I get to see the real geysers. But here's a way that you can bring a geyser into your house or a geyser into the classroom and really study the principles of how they work. Just like Old Faithful, bringing Yellowstone National Park right here, bringing it to you live. I mean, kind of live, not totally live. I was curious to see if I could model this in a little bit different way. So I took liquid nitrogen and put it in a larger water bottle, and instead of having a tube into the bottom, I started to add warm water to it. Nice! There's my geyser! Looks good! It's like old vehicle. Awesome! And the kids love liquid nitrogen as much as us old folks do. Full of liquid nitrogen. A little bit of warm water. Ooh. If you're looking for more experiments like this, or maybe some explosions, or some things you can do at home, or things you can do in the classroom, come over to BeelScience.com and check it out. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So what do you guys think? Cool. Yeah, if you want to see more stuff with liquid nitrogen, you know, leave a comment down there and tell us what you think. Tell us what else we should be trying out here at Beel Science. But the main point here is this, guys. Keep on learning.